and welcome to the Budget Bridge TMD. Well, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I'm building Truithen at the moment, which is the layout over here, and you'll find there's several other layouts on my YouTube channel from 7mm down to Engage. But um, the, uh, the idea of this build is it's a small portable layout that's easily to fold easy to fold up goes in the boot of a car can go to exhibitions um, it will be for sale once I've finished it but um, I've been showing a few clips of it on the Truithen videos that I did over the last two or three weeks so what I'm going to do now uh, for anybody new to the channel I'm going to show you those clips they're only short ones to give you some idea of the layout, the size, how it folds up, etc. And then uh, we're going to come back. I've now got it wired up, so we're going to run some locos on it. Uh, there's still loads of work to do on it yet. I've got to do a back scene. I want to put some wear, low relief warehouses on the back. Um, and there's a fueling point coming, a backman fueling point. So there's loads of bits and pieces I want to do to the layout, but it'll give you some idea of. Uh, where it's going to go and that sort of thing. So, uh, welcome to Budget Bridge TMD. Uh, let's have a quick look at the video and I'll join you later on for a running session. Carefully pick up the camera. And I've been working on the little layout along the end of the uh, uh, pod. And uh, basically I wanted to use up this three road shed that I bought for Butte Road. So the idea is it's going to be a loco shed and uh, it'll come on down two fueling roads at the back and the head shunt at the front here. Uh, the feed for the shed will come down along behind it so you won't actually see the entrance to the fiddle yard. There'll be a wall along the back. The back scene probably won't be there. It might be warehouses or something like that. And then I've left myself about 15 inches at this end here. Um, this back track will come through here. And then that will give me area there for the loco to stay with a, a fiddle yard. So that'll be my fiddle yard at the back of there. I can have a little bit of um, a footpath or whatever along the front of here. So um, that's the thinking at the moment. Uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. Done a little bit more to the Buddock Bridge TMD. Um, I've now put uh, copper clad across the joint and this is what it will look like once the uh, baseboard is opened up and also what it will look like when it's folded in half ready to go into a car which will then measure three foot six by two foot so here's a couple of photographs of that So basically it's a three road shed, uh, the far two there are dead end roads but the one this side is a through road so I'm going to build a warehouse at the back to hide the fiddle yard, there'll be a gap there where I can put pallets and bits of rubbish etc and a wall across the end so stuff leaving and arriving at the fiddle yard you will see pass through there um, and then more uh, warehouses probably along the back and that would be just a, a grassed over bit of siding at the end of that uh, shed road so that's the end of the shed there and then uh, just enough room along the front for a bit of a footpath or something and then moving on down got a two road fueling point and then the head shunt that comes down here and then feeds back into the shed so that's what we've got but at Bridge TMD. So we're going to start the video, uh, the running session with a class 31 coming in and um, got a house sound chip in it. So at the moment the points are manually operated but I have put holes under the baseboard ready for uh, putting motors in at a later date either if I decide to do it um, or if 
somebody who comes along and buys it wants to put motors in or just use it as manual operation so there we go 31414 uh, should be weathered and uh, coming in nicely there at the back you can see where the fueling road is going to go it's two road fueling road so that's going to go up there which will be ideal for the um, for the Batman fueling point when it arrives As I said earlier, still loads to do. We've got to uh, put a back seam along and then um, I'll probably put some warehouses and a wall along the back and that sort of thing. So, battery's about to die on the uh, camera. So I'll change this over now, put another battery in and we'll see what we've got next. Well, now it's going to be operated by my signal track I fitted that just up at the end here and there's just an umbilical cord that runs along the back from there and plugs in around the back into the layout so again any uh, unit could be used right as I stated earlier um, there's going to be a warehouse or something along the back here with a passageway down through there and we've got the 47 ticking over uh, again with depot layouts a lot of people have a lot of locos running at the same time and I find it sometimes a bit overpowering and annoying so I tend to have no more than two running but uh, I've turned the 31 off so uh, there we go That's where pallets and rubbish will go down the back of there. And as I say, at the moment, points are manually operated, so just uh, click those, and then uh, and bring the layout, uh, bring the loco back out. And when you're actually viewing the layout, that will then disappear behind the shed and um, between a wall and warehousing. And then you'll just briefly see it again there as it passes through into the fiddle yard part. So that's about all you'll see. And then that'll be the actual fiddle yard area in the back of there. Just to uh, give you some idea of that. Um, so I'll have a, a fiddle yard area which will be basic uh, warehouse along here give me somewhere to put two or three locos to work on because obviously at a show you'll work it from probably from behind so uh, there we go so that's the layout where we are at the moment and uh, there'll be some more updates to come so I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into Bullet Bridge TMD and uh, more to come soon I hope thanks once again for joining me happy modeling everybody and we'll catch you again soon at Budget Bridge TMD